Hello everyone. In this INR number 51, we are going to discuss another important PYQ that is diffuse axonal injury. Right. So what is die or diffuse axonal injury? These are the traumatic brain injury or traumatic sharing of the white matter tract of the brain. So white matter tract of the brain will be damaged. Why this will be damaged? Because of the rapid acceleration or rapid deceleration of the brain. So you can imagine this rapid acceleration or deceleration or you can imagine this a rotational injury also. It can be seen in rotational injuries also, right? So that is what I am saying that these are white matter which will be damaged because of rapid acceleration or deceleration which is most commonly associated with motor vehicle accident. So this is what you can see that the, you can see there is a gray matter there is a white matter so white matter of the brain where nerve cell exons are there here you can see the damage is done right so now this is how you will be seeing in the diffuse axonal injuries so at present if you look at the latest edition of harrison 21st edition you can see the page number also the presence of more than four areas of traumatic axonal injury is called as diffuse axonal injury Remember, this is the important point which can be our future question also. Ki when you will say it is a diffuse axonal injury, when there are more than four areas, remember, more than or equal to, more than or equal to four areas of traumatic axonal injuries are present, then we will say it is a diffuse axonal injuries, right? This is given in Harrison. So if because of extensive diffuse axonal injury, what we will see? Patient will be having persistent coma and they may go for vegetative, vegetative state and they may die also because of this, right? So these are important points. So more than or equal to more, more than four or more than e equal to four traumatic axonal injuries must be present to call this as a diffuse axonal injuries. So post traumatic formation. So after the trauma, what will happen? Axonal retraction bulb will be formed. You can see this. This is the normal axon. And then after the trauma, because of the rotational injury, now you can see axonal bulb or retraction bulb has been formed. So these are axonal retraction bulb has been formed because of the disruption of the cytoskeletal protein, right? So mostly what happens when you will perform the CT scan, CT scan will be negative. For this traumatic axonal injury, CT scan will be negative. That is why investigation of choice for this case will be MRI with SWI means susceptibility weighted imaging will be done for this. So this MRI SWI will be investigation of choice and what it will show? It will show you small petechial hemorrhages at gray white matter junction and that is characteristic. So you can see small petechial hemorrhages are small petechial hemorrhages are present on SWI weighted MRI which will confirm the diagnosis of so that is why it is investigation of choice right so keep revising these topic for your upcoming exam best wishes for your exams